I have a lot of passion for composting. Um, I want people to do well. And I want people to live well. Our world has become so modern and everything is, is so easy and quick. Um, I think our nation has, has kind of lost its way on the beginnings on how Mother Nature works. I'm David Souza. I'm the manager here at Island Topsoil, which we are a family owned business that started in 1990. So we're here located in Honolulu, Hawaii, in the town of Waianae. Our site here is about 180 acres total, uh, but it has multiple uses for it. So we run our compost facility. We have about 13 wing rows that sits over approximately 15 acres. My philosophy here at Island Topso is must have data. That gives us a baseline that knows that if we're doing good, better, or if we're falling behind or if we need to adjust. It's important because I have the capability to show people what we do. In this particular system, we are able to take this new technology. We can upload the information to the cloud. Our program can pull it out of the cloud. iPads, iPhones, or any kind of smart device, uh, it's at your fingertips. You have automatic alerts if your piles are too high or too low. Um, if a regulatory comes in and want to see, we can share that data with them. And that's very important. I want the state of Hawaii, I want our community, I want them to, to do good. I want them to have a, a, the best life possible. If they can take this product and add it to their gardens, um, to their fields, um, I know it, it'll do well for them. Some of the cost savings that we looked at prior to purchasing the unit was labor. Um, not only manual labor out in the field, but clerical data entry labor in the office. Um, I'm not gonna lie, labor these days are really hard to find and hard to get people that are passionate on what we do. I don't consider myself as a very big composter, but after sitting down and, and looking at the, the mat and I think it's totally affordable and it'll help you do better for your product. It'll free up man time to do other projects that we got on, ongoing and get more production done. When unboxing the units, we had a chance to go through it and the details on how to fix uh, in case any failures in the future and the ease of the unit, how to change our batteries, the transponders. It's the ease of the, the equipment repair. It, it, God forbid, if something does happen to it, our staff can easily repair it without being mechanically inclined. I would say all small composters, um, it's something to look into. It's technology, it is the future. It's, it's, it's too easy. Um, you can't mess it up. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone and just call. Go online if they have it there for your viewing. Um, second, do simple math. Take your labor costs and then equal it out to the system and see how over time the system will pay for itself. Rio Tem has got a winner on this one. They, they really hit it out of the park and I can't say enough about it. And I, I'm sure large composting facilities will be looking at it too. It's the future. We're here to try and help the farmers, help the community get a good quality compost. I want to give the very best that we can provide to our people of Hawaii. And with this new technology, there's no doubt.